Good morning, everyone. I am glad you are back again, and I am here today to show you a fun and easy tutorial on making these paper flowers. I've been having so much fun making them, I just can't seem to stop doing it. This is made out of uh, watercolor paper, and it works really, really well. And all I'm doing is die cutting. Uh oh, I turned my light out. I'm die cutting my paper and then I'm misting it with a little bit of water and shaping it. And some of them you can see I've put stamens inside. Some of them I have gold beads inside. Uh, this one is done with vellum and some embossing powder and I'm not real impressed with that. Some of them I just put a little pearl inside. This one has lots of stamens. So stick with me. I'm going to show you how we're going to make these today. Now what I have here is a foamy sheet. It's just um, about a quarter of an inch or so um, thick. And I've got some saran wrap on top of it. And the reason why is because we are going to mist these. And I don't want all that color getting all over my foamy sheet. So here's what I've done. And if you don't have a die cut machine, that's okay. You can do this without a die cut machine. I've got a tutorial on that also on my channel, so you can check that out. But what I did is I cut one, two, three, and I think I'm going to go four, five. I might take this one out. I usually do it with about five pieces. Now, I have sprayed these with Glimmer Mist. You can use anything you want to, um, but I've got some different colors. Um, I found these at a, a really good deal at Tuesday morning, and so it's just a, a spray with some mica in it. I've already sprayed these, and they have dried. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip them over on the back side. You can see all the different inks on the back side there. And I'm going to take, um, I don't have a mini mister, but this was some distress spray that I had that was empty and had just a, a, dot or, a drop or two in the bottom and I filled it up with water. So now I've got this kind of a uh, coffee or tea colored uh, and I'm just going to mist. See that's why the saran wraps there. So I'm just going to mist these guys. Now you can, there's a lot of different tools. These tools right here also used for polymer clay. Um, so you can just shape while it's wet you just start shaping. So what I do is I'm pressing down on the edge of the petals and I'm bringing those edges up. I'm, I'm cupping them up. So that's all I'm doing is just pressing down and we're going to draw them up to the middle with any size. Now the smaller the size tool you use, the smaller the end, the more it's going to react. But sometimes, like on this side, you might want the bigger end. Then we're going to push down and see how that kind of pokes up. And we're going to let it dry. Okay, so we're going to do this one. And you can just kind of pull it in. I would just do it like this, but when they're wet, it's kind of hard. It, the um, tool doesn't want to slide on that too well when it's wet. So we got that one pulled in. Now I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to poke it down in the middle. That's where that foamy sheet really helps. Now for this guy, I'm going to take the other end and I'm just going to kind of push down in the middle of each petal like that. Flip it over. That's probably going to go through if I do that. And this one had a hole in it already. See how cute that is? And I might do the same for this one. I'm just going to poke it. I'm going to take my tinier one and make a hole right there. Or a, not really a hole. Now this one, um, I can do the same thing. But what I'm going to do with this one's a little bit different. I'm going to draw this one all the way up into the center as far as I can get it. And then I'm going to poke it even more, and that's going to create a little um, bud for the center of my flower. So we're going to set all those aside to dry. Now, in the meanwhile, I have this, just like it, another set that I've already done, and it is dry. 
so I can show you how we put these together. So all I'm going to do, let me see if I can get that out of the way so you can see. I am going to take, um, just use whatever you have. Um, you can use any glue. I've just, this is what I happen to have on hand is some three in one. So I'm just going to glue around that a little bit and I'm going to offset these petals. And you can see I've already poked a hole in these so that I can get all the way through it. So with my um, center, when I get ready to do my center and make sure that's lined up. All right, and then we're going to take a little more glue. We're going to put this piece here and a little more glue. And just, just see how I'm just offsetting those centers. Make sure you can see that real good. Now, I want that to kind of sit down a little bit, so I am going to make sure it lines up where I wanted it. There we go. Now I'm just going to hold, just kind of hold that for a second and let that glue set just a little bit. Okay, and here's my center. And what I've decided to do, um, as you can see on some of these, I put like a little pearl. See how I just put a little pearl in the center? Um, on this one, there's a whole bunch of little gold seed beads down in there um, that made a pretty center. But on this one, I wanted to try this. I wanted to try my stamens. Now, if you don't have stamens, you can make them. But I tell you one thing, I tried making them and it's a lot of trouble. I bought these right here from Sorrento Crafts. I hope you can see that. There seems to be a glare. Um, and it's just a little bucket full of stamens. Look at that. It says 3,744 pieces. Trust me. I don't remember what I paid for that, and I ordered it probably off of Amazon or something, but it's worth it. It is not worth it trying to make your own stamens. That is way too much trouble. So here is the center, and all I was going to do is stick the stamens if I can get them to go, I need to poke that hole just a little bit larger. And then we are going to put the stamens down in there. And I took this pile of stamens and I just kind of twisted it at the bottom to try to make a point so it would go through a little bit easier. Ha ha ha, that really worked, didn't it? <laughs> it's not going through real easy, but my holes are, are being pokey. All right, I think. I'm going to put a little more glue. See, I'm not holding that down, so my glue is not wanting to stay, but that's okay. We'll get it. All right, so we're going to offset that a little bit. Oh, that's already cute. Look at it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, there's something about stamens. I just love them. They're fun. They're fun to play with. They're, and you know, I've been to a lot of stores looking for stamens, and people look at me like I'm crazy. They're like, what? What are, you, what are you talking about? And I'm like, you know, the, the pretty little things inside of a flower. And I have to actually take a silk flower off their shelf and show it to them because people don't know what they are, but that's okay. Okay, so there is a finished flower. I hope you can see that. You can take it and you can fluff it up a little more if you want to. You can... Um, Spray it again with some glimmer mist if you want a little more glitter to it. And all I would do is I would put a little glue back here to hold that in place. And then when that's dry, I'm just going to cut that off so I can glue it onto the front of a journal or anything else that I want to do with it. So I hope you can see that. I thank you for watching. Go and make some pretty flowers and have fun. Have a great day. Bye-bye.